today I'm doing my second Christmas makeup tutorial. So the first one I did was a little bit more neutral. I'm not going to say toned down, but it was a bit more on the neutral side. This is very dark, very glittery, very amped up compared to that one. It's something I had in my mind as like my what I'm actually thinking of wearing on Christmas Day. So I thought it would be fun to kind of practice it, but I'm doing it on camera. But it actually turned out pretty much exactly how I pictured it in my mind. So I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys like this look. It is not that difficult. I know it looks, Halo Smoky Eyes always tend to look complex and they're very messy in the beginning part of it and then somehow it all just comes together. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you have a great Christmas. So I'm going to stop rambling now and let's go ahead and get started in the tutorial. So I'm going to use the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Comfort Serum Foundation. This is shade 200 Soft Beige and it does have SPF 20 in it. So I've only used this a couple of times and the couple of times that I did use it, it actually is really, really good. I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend this in. And this really does last a long time on my skin. So I do have oily skin and I found yesterday, I think I used this and the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, but I actually used the loose powder. I bought that as well a couple of days ago. And I find that the combination of the two of this foundation and the loose powder, it I didn't have to blot my face once and I wore it for eight hours. I mean, I was a little bit oily, obviously, towards the end of that when I washed my face. And the coverage is really, really good. So I probably use like two and a bit pumps. Then I'm using the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer in light sand. This is an extremely full coverage concealer, which I like, and a little goes a very long way with this one. I'm going to blend it out with the same sponge. I know this makes me look super, super light right now, but when I add my powders and bronzer and stuff, it will all somehow magically blend together. What I'm thinking for next week for my two videos, I've actually already filmed um, one of them, sorry, there's a hair in my mouth. I filmed filmed one of them yesterday. It was me organizing Levi's toys because his toy organizer came in that my husband and I got him for Christmas. So I filmed me, um, myself putting that together and showing you what it looks like and organizing everything. So that will be up um, probably early next week. And then I will do a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial next week as well. I'm looking over here, it's because I've got a smaller mirror here and then I've got the bigger one behind me. I always think it's a good idea to look at your, your makeup from far away as well as close up because it can look totally different in both angles. So you want to make sure it looks good in both settings. Now to set my under eyes, I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless 120. I was using this to set my entire face, but as I've noticed, it's far too light to do my entire face. So I've actually, instead of giving it away or chucking it out, I just thought, you know what, I'll use it to set my under eyes. And I did that yesterday, and I also set my eyelids with this as well. And it didn't crease, my under eye was grey, and the shade actually works. To set my entire face, I'm using the Fit Me, it's just a loose finishing powder. This is shade 20 light medium. What I did yesterday, I actually used the JH Kabuki brush. This is uh, the number 03 brush. And I actually pushed this powder into my skin. So I start by patting it in, like so. And then I go around and buff it into my skin. And I found that this, I think it helped to make a big difference in the longevity of my foundation, as well as the finish. It looks really natural and sort of airbrushed. And you can see the color is a little bit darker than the shade that I used under my eyes. I'm just going to do my brows. I'm using the L'Oreal brow pencil in brunette. So I always start off with my 
I call it my bad brow because it's not as good as my other one. This one is so much easier to work with. But I think most people will find that's the case. You always have one good one and one bad one. So the lady that um, does my eyebrow threading, she actually said it's better to start with your bad one because normally when you start with a good one, you're then trying to mimic the bad one to look like the good one and that's sometimes where you can go wrong. So ever since I started doing that, it's made a huge difference. I'm just going to contour now with the Australis Chocolate Bronzer and also on my forehead as well. I'm just using the Maybelline Coconut Baking Powder and I am going to put this under my eyes as well because we are going to be working with dark shadows and um, glitter so I want to keep this protected. And just carve out this bronzer as well and just a little bit over here because I do get oily. I'm just using the same bronzer to do my nose contour and this is the JH33 um, brush. I hope that the lighting is better in this video because I do have the studio lights on. I'm just going to Bake my nose as well. I'm going to be working out of the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection. This is the Dark Magic palette. It's a really, really nice palette. I'm going to start off with this with the shade Shh, which is a nice, cool toned brown. And I'm using the JH30 brush. And I'm going to put this in my crease and in my transition area all the way from inner to outer corner because I am doing a halo smoky eye so I want it to be just as pigmented in the outer corner as the inner corner. So I'm just going back and forth and then in windshield wiper motions. I'm actually going to zoom you in a little bit more. So same from inner to outer corner. First I'm going just like this and then I'm going to go round from inner to outer corner. And I blend this for a good solid minute on each eye. But I don't go back and pick up more product. I just, what I go in the first time and then the rest of it is just blending. Now I'm going to take this green army green sort of bottle green shade called, it's called Potion. And I'm going to use the JH37 brush. And I'm going to start off by placing this on my outer corner and then going in the crease as well and bringing it into the inner corner. I don't know how this look is gonna turn out. I've actually not done it before. This is just something I had in my mind so I wanted to see what it would look like. So I've just placed it on there first and then I'm gonna bring it in to the inner corner. You can see I'm leaving the center of my lid blank because that is going to create the halo smoky eye. So then I'm going to take the JH32 brush. You can take a little bit more of the initial transition color that we used. And I'm just going to use that to blend out these edges. Now I'm going to take the JH40 brush, which is a super skinny brush, and I'm going to use the shade Inside Job, which is a really, really dark green, so you've got to be careful with this stuff. So I'm going to tap a lot of the excess off, and I'm going to put this just in that outer corner again, and carve out my crease with this, but I'm not going to go above the crease because you can sort of look like you've been punched in the eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the inner corner. This brush is great for working in the inner corner for this type of a look because it's really, really skinny. Because if you have a really fat brush and try to do this step, it's going to get too high in that inner corner. I'm just sort of getting it on there for now. I'm going to go back in with that blending brush. This has nothing left on it and I'm just going to buff everything out. 
but I'm not bringing this high up, I'm staying low in the crease. I'm going to use this palette from Makeup Revolution. It actually doesn't have a name on it, but I'll try and find it and link it down below. I want to do something crazy, so I'm going to try this shade called Fancy, which is a really mint gold green glitter. And obviously I'm going to use the glitter glue. Put this though on the center of my lid. I'm not going all over the lid. Just the center of the lid, as you can see. And I'm going to work one eye at a time. I think I'm just going to use my finger, actually, to go in with the glitter. Let's see. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, anyway. Deep breaths. Let's just do it and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. That is nice. I'm going to have to, obviously blend it but the other eye i'm not flipping you guys off i'm just using my middle finger it's super crazy but we're going to blend it just wait for the glue to not be tacky so i'm going to go ahead and wipe off my fake i'm just using the kabuki brush to do this So that way it's actually being rubbed into my skin rather than just wiping it away. I'm just going to go back in with the JH37 and that potion shade again. I just want to dab this in that outer corner just to help blend it in with the glitter. So I'm kind of going on top of the glitter when I'm doing this. I'm not going to go in the inner corner with this particular brush. I'll go back in with that uh, skinnier brush to the inner corner with the skinnier brush. Go back in with a blending brush. Just blend it all over. That is really pretty. I actually really, really like it. And while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, I'm just going to go in with Let Me Explain from Colourpop right there because the Dark Magic palette actually doesn't have a brow highlight in there. I'm just going to use this to highlight my brows. It's a nice neutral shade, which I think this eye look needs. like to just buff that out again once this is just the initial brush that we used in the transition shade in the transition area I'm just gonna apply a coat of the NYX wet the hype mascara on my real lashes I'm not gonna do any eyeliner because I don't want anything to take away from the lids so I don't want to cover it up with eyeliner and I'm using the lashes the kiss pixie 02 squeezing the natural lashes and the fake ones together to get them as close as I can to the lash line because I don't have a band of eyeliner to hide behind it. I'm going to work on my lower lash line. I'm going to take Inside Job which is a dark green on the JH43 flat shader brush and I'm going to run this very tightly along my lower lash line all the way from inner to outer corner to meet the edges. You can see I'm matching it to that outer bit there and then bringing it in all the way. I'm going to use the Colourpop eyeliner in Fast Lane which is a really dark green as well. I'm going to put this in my waterline. You can definitely just do black. If you have nothing left on that flat shader brush I'm just going to Blend the two together. I'm going to take this pencil brush. This is the JH39 with the shade Potion on it. I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. Then I'm going to use the NYX Wet the Height Mascara on my lower lashes. So for blush, I'm using MAC Margin. It's super neutral, which I think it complements the eye look really well because the eyes are dramatic, so I like to go less neutral on the cheeks and lips. This also has a really pretty sheen in it. It's not glitter, it's just like a glow. But the glow in it is like a golden 
sort of glow so I think it matches, it complements the eyes really well. Highlighter, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter in Monumental. It's a really pretty gold one. Let's get it on my finger and I'm just going to tap it on just using my finger. You can absolutely use a brush, like a synthetic hairbrush, but I just find it looks more natural when I use my fingers. And to highlight the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. So I'm going to put this on my chin, Cupid's bow, and nose, above the brows. And I'll put a bit on my cheeks. And a little bit over the jelly highlighter as well. And for lips, I'm going to use the Morphe lipstick in Forevs, which is a really nice neutral shade. It's not too like white out nude. Top it off with the Chi Chi the Jet Set Gloss, which is a neutral pink with a little bit of gold shimmer in it. But that is a completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's completely opposite to the other Christmas tutorial that I did. This one is definitely more amped up, more dramatic. It's a lot of fun actually when you have an idea in your mind and you're thinking, can I make that happen? And it's exactly how I pictured it to be in my mind. So I'm really happy with how it came out and I hope you guys like it as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other videos that you'd like to see. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notifications to be notified of future uploads as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.